हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू अवर चैप्टर नंबर वन सेक्शन ए बट दिस टाइम इज दिस इज द लास्ट पार्ट ओके सो चैप्टर नंबर वन ऑफ दिस कंसाइज फिजिक्स बुक एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द लास्ट टॉपिक ऑफ दिस सेक्शन ए विच इज प्रिंसिपल ऑफ मूवमेंट एंड विल ऑल्सो सी वेरिफिकेशन ऑफ दिस प्रिंसिपल ऑफ मूवमेंट ओके so we'll cover principle of moment this and these two topic and then in our next video we'll see the examples right so in this way we will be completing our section number a of chapter 4 and friends you already know see i am following this book every topic what is mentioned in this book only because this is going to be cover as a part of your school syllabus right i am not going to refer any other book any other guide or any other way to explain you anything because this is something which is a bible you need to understand this book topic by topic and word by word so that's why i am explaining this and after seeing this video then if you try to uh, uh, go through all the topic in this book then that will be easy for you to understand all right so let's get it started with today's topic 1.5 principle of moments so this is chapter 1 force and the topic is 1.5 principle of moment moments all right so friends what happen let's say there is a body having a pivot okay now there are so many forces are trying to rotate this wheel or rotate this body right so let's say there are so many forces uh, from right side and from the left side as well now these forces let's say this is f1 f2 f3 etc these forces are trying to rotate this body towards anti clockwise right and let's say this is f4 f5 f6 etc these forces are trying to rotate this body in clockwise direction okay this is anti clockwise and this is clockwise so there are so many forces applying on this body now how we are going to calculate what will be the resultant force on this body so the resultant moment of all the force about the pivot is obtaining by taking the algebraic sum algebraic sum okay so for that we require to have some positive or negative value so to find the algebraic sum with respect to the anti clockwise movement right so for algebraic sum let me just write anti clockwise movement this will be considered as a positive value and in case of a clockwise movement clockwise movement this will be considered as a negative value all right so we have seen whatever the forces are applying on this body along this pivot if we try to find out the algebraic sum then of course there must be some force which will be in positive value and there will be some force which we consider as a negative value so that we can find out the algebraic sum on that body right anti clockwise whenever this will be coming as in positive value always consider means this f1 f2 f3 f1 f2 f3 this will be considered as a positive value let's say this is 2 newton 3 newton 4 newton then this will be considered as a 2 3 4 
and in case of f4 f5 f6 this will be considered as a negative value let's say this is 2 3 4 then this will be considered as a minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 and this is let's say 2 3 4 all right now according to the principle of moment if let me just write this is the definition or probably you can uh, understand or learn if the algebraic sum if the algebraic sum of moments of all the forces means algebraic sum of all the forces means f1 f2 f3 f4 f5 acting on the body here body is what this one this is let's say b1 okay about the axis of rotation is zero then the body is in equilibrium state what does it mean let's say two three four are the positive value of these forces and two three four are the negative value are the negative forces applying on this body so if this body is not rotating at any direction not even anti-clockwise or clockwise then we can say this body is in equilibrium state right if his body is moving on anti-clockwise movement then it's not if it's um, uh, rotating in clockwise direction then it's not in equilibrium right so the when these two forces are equal only in that case we can say this body is in equilibrium state so what does it mean so according to the principle this is uh, one of the uh, basic concept you need to always remember this is the basic concept i am writing principle of moment in equilibrium this is what this is sum of the anti clockwise moments equal to sum of the clockwise right so as i said when these two values are equal then this body will be considered as the equilibrium state so up to this i have covered this principle of moment up to here right now i am going to cover the next subtopic which is verification of the principle of moment that means what i have explained as of now i am going to verify this all right so next topic is verification of the principle of moment verification of the principles of moment okay to understand this let's have a meter rule okay so there is a ruler having certain values this is just an example okay now in this ruler i am going to do certain things first of all 
I need to fix this ruler by the support of a strong thread. Okay. So this is my support. And using that support, I just put this ruler as a horizontal. Alright. Now, next thing what I am going to do is, I will be putting two string. So two spring could be, let's say I just put one spring here and I put another string here, right? And in this spring, I just put certain weight. This is, let's say, W2. Uh, I just put some weight and this is W1, right? And also, the place where I kept this spring, I am considering this place a name as an A and this is my, the location what I'm, where I put this spring uh, with a W2 weight is B, right? And this, the location of this uh, thread where I just uh, put this scale is let's say O. One more thing is that the distance from this thread to the point where I put this spring is L1 and this value let's say this is L2. Okay. I am not saying these two values are same means L1 may or may not be equal to each other. This is some practical which you may also do in your laboratory. Now this weight W2 obviously try to rotate this scale in anti-clockwise direction and this W1 weight will try to move this or rotate this scale in clockwise direction. This is anti-clockwise. Okay. So, our task is to make sure that this scale will not rotate. So, there are two ways to do this. Number one, we can put a weight in such a way that these two weight will make sure that this, uh, uh, this scale will not rotate. That's one. And number two, we can also adjust the position of a spring balance on either side of a thread. Means I can put this string at let's say here C position or maybe I can move this string from here to let's say here D. Means I need to adjust, I can adjust this spring in such a way that this scale will balance okay it, it won't rotate and this scale always become a horizontal okay so let's say the weight of i'm just putting few figure let's say the weight suspended from the spring balance a on the right side of this is w1 is weight on right side all right at a distance which is l1 this is the distance oa so we can say oa is equal to l1 that's one while the weight suspended from the spring balance b on the left side this is W2 at a distance. What we say, which is OB or is equal to L2. Now, the weight W1 tend to turn the meter rule clockwise and weight 2 tend to turn the rule anti clockwise.
so we can say clockwise moment of weight w1 at point o this one is equal to w1 into l1 and anti clockwise moment of weight 2 is equal to o or this is equal to w2 into l2 so in equilibrium state what happen in equilibrium what happen these values will be same means when the meter rule is horizontal then w1 l1 is equal to w2 l2 that is clockwise moment is equal to anti clockwise moment okay and this verify the principle of moment when the clockwise moment is equal to anti clockwise moment in this condition we can say that this is the application of principle of moment okay so this is the formula and this is the definition what i have just explained so in this way our principle of moment topic is finished right right so friends in in case you have uh, any doubt you can go through my all earlier video detail you can find it in uh, description and let me know if you have any queries bye bye and take care